Hello, I just created a bare metal vulture instance. This is great for testing different uh, systems online if you need quite a bit of resources. For example, I've got a, quite a lot of RAM there, so plenty of enough to work around with Insight VM. That's why I created this bare metal instance. Very affordable systems that you can get your hands on through Vulture. Go ahead and uh, I'll just post a link. You can check it out. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get a get an Insight VM server launched up, and I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. So we're going to start Putty really quick, and with Putty ready to go, we're going to just click here, copy IP, paste it in, open this connection up. And we're going to get this notice here that we need to trust this. And we're just going to click yes. That's going to go ahead and let us connect into the server with the root login. And now that we have the, the root login, we're going to get the, uh, we need to get the files. So I happen to know the links to the files for Insight VM. You can get your hands on these easily by just, you know, doing doing your own stuff but I, i'm not gonna go ahead and like baby step you through this whole process if you really want to get your hands on insight vm go ahead it's really simple i don't want to make this video so simple that anybody in the entire world can just uh you know spin up insight vm but i, I wanted to just make a, a quick tutorial on the the basics of getting things ready get, getting things launched up so now we need to uh, now that we have these two files here we need to do an md5 sum check so that just basically looks like this we're gonna specify that we want to check it should say okay so it does this means that the md5 sum is checking out personally i do not like the way that rapid 7 is checking this because of the fact that it's all uh, delivered via HTTP so no matter what that doesn't really matter because the MD5 sum file and the download is they're both located on a non-secure whatever man let's let's not get off on, onto that wild tangent but what I do want to do now is I'm gonna ch mod the um the rapid 7 the bin and Oh, why? How did I miss typing the plus X there? I don't know, man. I'm a little bit tired, so bear with me. We will get there. I'm just gonna probably be slightly, slightly tired, but that's okay. So it's asking me uh, if I want to continue. I'm gonna type Y for yes. What we do want. We do want this here. We are going with option one. We want the security console along with the scanning engine. So one and then enter. It's going to ask us where we want this uh, to be installed. Just hit enter. We want it there. Minim uh, minimum requirements have been met. So we're going to uh, type Y for, for continuing there. And now it's, it's asking us to enter some numbers. We can leave the ports by default. We do not need to change these. You can if, you, if your heart so desires, but I do not feel the need to. For the name, we're just going to put in analyst. And for the, um, for the last name, we'll, we'll just put in department. And the company, let's go with, uh, I, I don't know, let's go... Let's go with testing and our username is going to be really simple it's nobody and the password is going to be fairly simple yeah require a password reset upon login no we don't need to do that select any additional installation tasks no we we do not need any other additional tasks so once this gets going here we will be able to connect into this this IP via HTTPS on a specific port. The cert will be invalid, but that's okay. So to start the service, it's telling us that we need to run this. So we are going to we're going to just copy this, paste it in. There we go. So. It's going to take a little bit of time here for it to fully boot up or start up this service. So we're going to just wait a little bit and come back when it's all set. Okay, so for whatever reason, it seems that 
it it's taken a little bit longer than I expected it to, but that's okay. Maybe it's a little bit picky about what it needs there, but we should be able to should be able to get this launched really quickly here. It's going to go through these different percentages, kind of just a load up process. Once this load up process is reached, uh, by the way, I did go to HTTPS colon slash 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 my IP address. And it's going to be on port 3780. So again, like I mentioned, from the time that I started up the service, it did seem to take a, a little bit of time to f be able to actually fully load it up. I had to like try reloading it a few times and, and then it was working. Not positive, you know, how long it takes in, in there. But all I know is I, I had to try loading the, the um, I had to try loading that HTTPS page there a couple times uh, again on, on that default port of 3780. So once this once this load up comes through, we're gonna get an activate or activation key, and we should be set to, to go ahead and mess around a little bit and see that the panel should, excuse me, should work. Didn't take too long there, so let's go ahead and sign in. And right away, it's asking us for the product key. I'm going to go ahead and grab that out of my email that I used when requesting the trial, and it should let us go ahead. So we are now activating the, the security console. And I'm just going to wait until this finishes, I guess. Okay, I'm just going to like provide a quick update here. I've been staring at this activating the security console. Please wait thing for quite some time now. Like, longer than you would expect. So I basically just duplicated the tab. It's up top, duplicate. And it loaded up the console just fine. So... I'm assuming I could just close out of this. I'm, I'm going to leave it running in the background just in case, in, in case it's really touchy. I, I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like it should be a little bit smoother. Like it should just come up activating it and be done. But for whatever reason, it's just it's doing this beautiful little loading thing there. I'm not going to mess with that. But what we can do now is we can start exploring the console here. I can go in here under user preferences and you know, I, I could set up my email address. I can uh, go into site access, asset group access, notifications, you know, kind of turn these on or off, whatever, check the boxes and then click save. I'm going to just cancel, get out of here. Um, so it, it does pop some things up here with some like quick tips, really nice. And it kind of walks you through the first step is kind of creating a site. I don't, I don't really need this up here though. It, it talks about using the insight platform to understand your risk. You can activate your security console on the rapid seven insight platform to get access to interactive dashboards, remediation, planning, endpoint monitoring, and, and a whole, whole lot more. So this is awesome. And I, I mean, I could click activate now and and go through all this if if you've got all this stuff set up. Personally, I am I'm not going to do this. Not in this demo. That's not what I'm trying to show you. What I'm trying to show you just is Insight VM and creating a site. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, and it, again it shows you kind of all these quick tips uh, about assets, authentication. So if you wanted to. You can you can do like authentication for credentialed scanning. That's what that's what I believe. Required fields. It you know it shows that there are some required fields. But anyways, okay, quit quit with all the tips. Okay, we're we're just gonna go ahead and set up a, a quick site. So we're gonna call this example, and uh, the importance uh, just leave it normal. So now that we've got that there we can click over to the assets we're going to do we're going to just scan we're going to scan itself right so I'll throw this ip address in and 
then if we wanted to provide the authentication, we could. So let's let's go with add. Uh, you know what? I feel like there's got to be a way to add SSH. Ah, here we go. So yeah, secure shell, credential management, VM, uh, username. So we're gonna come back over here and copy this password. Let's go in here. Root is the username. So we should be good right here. Let's say sudo, I guess. So the IP address is right here. And we should be able to just test them. So yeah, authentication was successful. And then port is 22. So then under general, we're just going to call this SSH VM our insight VM testing SSH, or, you know, just whatever, basically, I, I guess. So right there, we've got that set up. We can come in here. We can look at the account. It's got the password in there. We can pull up the restrictions and... Yeah, th there you go. So we'll just click save. We're ready. We're pretty much mostly ready to go. We can do some exclusions here. Uh, so we've got the authentication. If we wanted to, we could We just say that we want like a denial of service scan template. We're going to do the full audit without the web spider. Um, it, you know what? Heck, let's skip that. Let's go with the full audit. We're going to go to engines, local scan engine, or rapid seven hosted scan engine. We'll, we'll go with the local scan uh, alerts. We, we could come in here and create alerts. We're, we're not going to do that. If we wanted to, we could schedule. Um, we're, we're not going to go ahead and, and do any scheduling here, but scheduling could be useful if you wanted to, to create a schedule and say that the, you want it to start now and then you can do every first of the month every first friday uh, other i mean it, it's really flexible really nice um you can also manage blackouts in case there's a, a certain blackout periods and uh, and create those of course so a uh, really convenient lovely tool i'm going to go ahead and, and save this and then scan so we're not going to we're going to say we don't want to show this alert again. Yes, I really do want to save and scan. So we're going to kick that scan off. It's going and you can see it's already going through the the asset discovery. And if we come back out to the dashboard, it, it, it is going to keep kind of showing that. I'm going to just say ask me later. I don't want to see that right now. So whoops. Oh, OK, home. That's what I meant to do is go go back to home. And you can see that the scan is in progress. And then if you wanted to, you just go ahead and click on it and you can kind of in get a quick look at how long this has elapsed. That's pretty convenient. If you wanted to just click in progress, that pulls, it pulls things up and you can go back into kind of seeing a nice percentage bar there. Really cool. Overall, I'd say it's a well well created tool, a lovely Rapid Seven solution. It ties into uh, basically Rapid Seven's version of a seam, so it, it just it, it's all really flowing, and it just it makes a lot of sense. It's a great tool. I, I'm not incredibly biased toward this, not, not quite yet. I'm definitely testing a whole lot of other solutions for vulnerability scanning, but this is a great solution if you're looking to to help with automating your vulnerability scanning so that way we, you can carry out good patch management to, to keep a good security posture for your network, for, for the infrastructure that you maintain. Thank you.